In this sequence, we are going to show you how you can easily assign I.O. signals to the individual charts and function blocks that are used in the application. We will use the symbolical names which have been defined previously, and assign them to the corresponding measuring points. The signals are interfaced easily and conveniently in the process object view. In this view, it is possible to carry out all assignments globally without having to open up each individual chart or function block one by one. The next thing to do is to insert the signals, and then to modify the parameter values. The signals are entered one after another. The first entry will be for the feedback signal ON of motor 1. With the right mouse button, the input field in the signal column and in the motor 1 line is selected. Then the Insert Signal command is triggered. In the Insert Signal window, all of the defined signals are displayed. They are sorted according to input and output. The signal names contain the name of the measuring point, the chart column, and the name of the channel drivers in the module column. The signal that is to be inserted is Motor 1 FB ON. It is selected and will be applied by clicking the Apply button. The other signals are connected in the same manner. For the start-stop command signal of motor 1. For the feedback signal of motor 2. For the command signal of motor 2. For the position feedback signal of the output of controller 1. For the output signal of controller 1 for the process variable of controller 1, for the position feedback signal of the output of controller 2, for the output signal of controller 2, and for the process variable of controller 2. Finally, the I-O signals for valve 1 and valve 2 are connected. For the closed feedback signal of valve 1, for the open feedback signal of valve 1. For the open close command signal of valve 1. For the closed feedback signal of valve 2. For the open feedback signal of valve 2. For the open close command signal of valve 2. All signals are now interconnected. The dialog may now be closed. Now, the monitoring time parameter of the valve modules in the valve 1 and valve 2 plans will be changed from 5 to 6 seconds. These changes are carried out in the parameter tab. For clarity, we will split the window again to display the chart column in the left section and the measuring point connection, category and value columns in the right section. Now we can enter the value 6. To change the monitoring time of valve 2, we select the input field in the left section of the process object view valve 2 and enter the value. The interconnections and parameter changes that were carried out in the process object view have been applied to the plans. The valve 2 plan is opened to illustrate this. The interconnections of the feedback signals are visible here. And those of the output for commanding the valve to open or close are visible here. The modification to the monitoring time has been applied as well. The application engineering of our example project is now completed.